right, hello YouTube, here we are again. So, I've done some work on the bike and I uh, just wanted to show you one thing you may find interesting. Now, this is a 91 Cannondale SC600. So we have a seven speed cassette on there. And what we have over here is a Mavic Open Pro with an Ultegra hub. Okay. Now the question is, will a modern wheel and hub fit on one of these old six or seven speed bikes? And the problem is the hub spacing. What is hub spacing? Okay. Hub spacing is the distance from this side to this side. So on the older bike, the seven speed hub, it's 126 millimeters and then on the newer hub the distance between here and here is 130 so there's a four mil difference four millimeters people say oh no you shouldn't do that Cannondale's aluminum frame you're gonna stretch it you're gonna crack the frame you're gonna ruin the bike I don't believe that I've seen it done several times I've never seen anybody with a crack frame because of it. So what I'm going to show you is we're going to drop this wheel out and take that one out and we are going to put the new one in. Now I don't think I'm going to use it as part of this upgrade but I just want to show you that yes indeed it will fit. Alright, so now we got here and we're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's not going to go, it's not going to fit. See, I told you. Okay, I need both hands, so wait just a minute and I'll be right back. So here you have it. The 130 millimeter spaced hub. In a 126 millimeter space frame. You have to pull this apart a little bit that's why I needed both hands to get it to slide in but I'm telling you it's only four millimeters it's not the end of the world these seat stays chain stays there is some movement when you clamp your quick release in it does actually squeeze the frame together they're designed to take that four millimeters does not ruin it it does bow it out a little bit, but four millimeters is not going to hurt it. The wheel fits in there nicely. I wish I had a cassette on this wheel. It was given to me by a friend of mine. He was going to throw it away. Never been used. I'm like, don't throw away a nice wheel like that. So I took it. I'll use it for some other project. But this would fit right. The chain lines, if I wanted to put a 9 or 10 speed cassette on there, I'd have to work with the chain line a little bit, but it can all be done. I would actually need to replace the derailleur because, you know, it's a 7 speed derailleur on there. But the whole thing is doable. So if you want to, you can do it. A lot of people will tell you not to do it. Some people will be adamant, oh, you're going to ruin your bike, mate. You're going to just destroy it. I don't agree. I don't agree at all. You can do it. I've seen several people do it. Good results. So if you really want to get a 9 or a 10 speed rear hub on your old bike, put some 9 or 10 speed brifters on it, and really update the bike, it's all doable. All right, I just wanted to show you that there is movement you can do in these. See how that moves like that? It does move. I guess this is the best way to show it. See? And four millimeters is not that much. Okay? So you can put the wider hub in there. Um, obviously, I wouldn't try to put a 135 in there. That would be nine millimeters. I think you'd be severely pushing your luck there, but four millimeters by all means go for it just wanted to set that out for you YouTube I'm sure somebody will disagree with me that's fine but it is doable thanks for watching